Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. And welcome to a game of Domination on Interchange. I'm using my new most trusted class, which is the ACR Silenced, Scavenger Pro, Hardline Pro and Sit Rep. Which I don't think I'm ever going to get Pro, because there's just never 50 enemy explosives to destroy at the moment. Um, or 50 enemy equipment to destroy. This is uh, quite an aggressive start, quite an aggressive push from me. Um, I can try and go quite hell for leather, basically, to, uh, to do some damage to the enemy team. And I end up coming out quite well from it. Then there's a sort of host migration when everyone on the opposite team rage quits, and um, the result of that isn't great. The the lag, let's say, it's the uh, the lag compensation system kicks in and just starts to shaft you to death. Um, but that's something I'll probably cover in a future video because I'm still learning about the the bullshit that is that system that's in place in this particular uh, version of the Call of Duty series. Um, but on that t on that subject, we'll talk about the the problems that I've been finding with Modern Warfare 3, the things that have been really winding me up, and getting on my tits. And um, the first one is Assassin, Assassin Pro. Um, obviously, everyone knows about it now. Everyone's had a chance to unlock it and use it, and and basically, compared to the other other perks you've got in that tier, it's so overused. It's not even sort of funny. Hardlines obviously in there. Um, Blast shields in there. They do pop up occasionally, but normally only on people who are at such a low level they haven't unlocked assassin yet. And um, it causes huge amount of problems because I'm fairly aware that the support of kill streaks and the that structure that's in place encourages the I don't want to say bad players, but the new players to push for constant UAVs, counter UAVs, and uh, advanced UAVs. So having something to counteract that is great. The problem is that it also counteracts so much else that it makes them immune. I would make sense for Assassin to eliminate the advantage you'd have from a UAV um, and an advanced UAV, that's fair enough. Uh, but you'd obviously not be able to block counter UAV, or if you can block UAVs but you can't block advanced UAVs like you couldn't with um, the Blackbird in uh, Black Ops and Ghost. But no, the, uh, the Assassin perk eliminates all of that. Well, that's fine, so if people are using Assassin, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll put a heartbeat sensor on my gun, so I'll sacrifice my attachment slot to use the heartbeat sensor and uh, you know eliminate that advantage there no nope. assassin uh, blocks the heartbeat sensor okay that's fine I'll knock thermal onto my uh, a site so I'll sacrifice the the visual effect of the world around me in order to get uh, past that no nope. assassin blocks thermal vision okay so there's nothing I can do physically to prevent people sneaking around with assassin well at least fortunately um, I can use air support and the air support will kill them. Except that Blind Eye is in a separate pe uh, perk structure, perk system, perk tier, so they can have both. And so they can be immune to UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV, etc. And the effects of a number of other devices and things you could use. And they can be immune to your air support. So if you have taken the time to get five kills, and you have taken the time to uh, obviously get your, your kill streaks unlocked, very rarely do they get you any kills. Though in this particular lobby you can see that there are a number of red dots, a number of red squares that appear. So there are a few people that are that are using it. And I love this bit. This bit was amazing. I was doing a serious amount of damage to their team in this area. I was picking up my second second string of kill streaks in a row. So um, I thought that's great. And I'll try again. Let's try for third tier. See if we can run around and see if we can we can go through the spawn system. Obviously get into a gunfight with a guy. Get really lucky here that even though he drops into final stand, I managed to get a single round in. And then, like in noob tube. Bastard just requires no skill. He's got Assassin Pro on. As I said, he's hiding from, from UAVs. He's using the noob tube. And it was miles from me, and yet it killed me. And so, I've not experienced this, the nerfing of the noob tube. It killed me instantly. And, just to top it all off, rather than having a, the noob tube or grenade launcher symbol on the kill feed, um, very bad awareness fell for me there. Rather than having that on the kill feed, what they've done is in fact just put the gun symbol so it looks like you've been killed by the gun. So when you're sitting in your sort of massive kill streak like I was, if you're doing so much damage like I was, you get new tube and killed. There's no way for anyone to know why you're shouting at the uh, at the game and getting really cross that people are just using cheap, cheap tactics to kill you because it looks like you've been killed by a gun. So that's perks. That's the perks that are causing me my, my problems. The main main problem I've got is the, the guns. So the Time 95 obviously is the overpowered gun from the assault rifle class. It is the one that the people will use but it 
does coincide with what I mentioned earlier about lag compensation. Because if, as we wait for the host migration to complete, if you've got the lag compensation on your side, which if you Google it, you'll find loads of people who've been able to, especially on, um, I think it's PC, you can force it, not PC, I can't be right, especially if you've got the kit you need basically to act activate a serious but permanent lag switch, so basically create a delay on your connection so that you get put into the bottom tier of the connections in the in your lobby and basically the game will compensate everybody else's connection in order to make it fair for you but it does so by basically making you um, well, the game is actually you're the only person that's experiencing the game live everyone else is experiencing the game with a delay and so you have massive massive advantage so rather than compensating um, not compensating or having a situation like we did with Modern Warfare 2 where the host had the advantage, he was the player that had the best connection and he was the person that, that you needed to kill. What lag compensation does in Modern Warfare 3 is it just shafts you. If you've got a good internet connection, if you've got a strong connection speed, you will be being delayed in order to equal out with the people in the internet with you that haven't got as good a connection. Now, it's a good idea and it makes sense if everyone in the area around you has got the same internet connection type such as like you have in America and a number of other countries around Europe however in England everyone in the same street can have a different internet connection type so for example I've got fiber optic internet into my front door through a, a virgin fiber optic cable so I've got a ridiculously ridiculously quick ping to the UK but my next door neighbor is using ADSL broadband so he's got or she's got a phone line and what you basically have in that situation is a massively delayed connection time because you have to go through the phone line to the exchange box from the exchange box onto the internet traffic uh, resolve your username and password to check your, your credentials are correct then go onto the internet and find your destination so that person with his poor piss poor internet connection gets an advantage over me because he doesn't pay proper for proper high-speed internet and it's just an unbelievable system that makes no sense and causes me almost all of the problems I've been having with this game since I started playing it that I've not really been able to associate with anything or make sense of now that I've read up and researched this lag compensation system basically it's a hundred percent this which is causing problems for me there's no reason why I should have a 16 millisecond ping to anyone in the UK on a virgin fiber optic connection and be at a disadvantage to someone because the game is delaying my game by, milli by not just like 10-15 milliseconds but in most cases it's normally about 150 to 200 milliseconds that the game is being delayed to people with the fastest connection in order to give everyone in quotation marks um, a fair game but what it ends up doing like I said if you google Modern Warfare 3 lag compensation and watch the videos demonstrating how it works you can see that people that know what they're doing that have the ability within their router or the ability within their PC software because they're using connection sharing to deliberately delay their connection to the game will get a huge unstoppable advantage over everybody else in the lobby because the game will compensate everybody else's connection in order to match theirs and so they will be the only person seeing the game live and therefore the only person able to react correctly to the world around them and it's just an unbelievably piss poor decision making process that put that into the game um, and as such I barely think I'm going to play on this game until they either remove it or patch it so that it affects the people in the UK differently to how it would logically works for people who have a higher population density areas such as people in America Whew, rant over um, nice little drop shot there uh, which is definitely something I've brought back into my uh, into my arsenal now that um, obviously it's a, it's a tactic that I use to uh, affect to try and compensate for this connection problems. This game is wrapping up. It's quite a, a good, solid victory. 200, uh, 200 to about just over a hundred point victory, and um, now we did really well. And I hopefully enjoy, you enjoyed the, uh, the the gameplay. If you didn't necessarily enjoy my rants, so 31 and 2. It's one of my best games. One of my best scores. More often than not, I'll go one for one because this game just loves to throw impossible connections at you impossible circumstances and uh, or the type 95 which is just a bitch of a gun alright guys oh, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the rant and uh, I've got an Osprey my first Osprey gunner streak coming up uh, is the next vid and then I'll get back to uh, random gameplay commentaries uh, please leave us a rate and a comment if you've got anything to say about this la M Modern Warfare 3 lag compensation bollocks if not 
and uh, you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Bye for now.